Well, the announcement came yesterday. Elon Musk is bringing his supercomputer XAI operation to town, but where will it go? Well, that's just the beginning of the list of questions Memphians have over the groundbreaking tech news. Tonight, we're seeking solutions and asking questions about the impact of a company like this on the Memphis power grid. Musk's operation is billed as the largest in the world. And we have team coverage tonight. Our Scott Mattis is looking into the economic impact. But first, we start with Kevin McNamara, who is live in southwest Memphis with a look at how this new facility could impact the environment. Kevin. Yeah, Pepper, Rudy, this whole site has raised some concerns from environmental activists. And I spoke with a number of them today and why they say they're optimistic that this is going to do more good than harm. They do say they're going to need to see it to believe it. XAI and a supercomputer is the stuff of science fiction, but we cannot ignore our reality. Environmental groups like Memphis Citizens Against Pollution, or MCAP, say they have a healthy skepticism about what bringing a supercomputer facility will do to southwest Memphis. It's an area the EPA says has a long history of toxic industrial pollution and a cluster of cancer cases. Our concerns are many, but our concerns are about the overall well-being of our community, the overall well-being of our environment, because what we can do is continue to sacrifice our environment for prosperity and for profit. If built, Local environmental groups say the facility will use enormous amounts of power from MLGW's grid and water from nearby sources. Computer systems like this need a lot of water to cool the big machinery, and so they're looking at a demand of at least one million gallons of water per day. Sarah Houston of Protect Our Aquifer says this new development is likely to accelerate one of their long-standing campaigns, the creation of a wastewater recycling facility that can then be used to cool XAI systems rather than clean fresh water. With XAI coming in down the street, they could actually help put up some funding and some capital to bring that online. And that means less impact on our water, less impact on our infrastructure, and recycling wastewater we've already used. The Tennessee Valley Authority said this week that they're going to be working with MLGW to maximize the electricity output of their systems and be flexible in their demand. So in case things do, demand does get high, it won't impact other consumers. So certainly a lot to follow here, and we'll be doing so at ABC 24. For now, live in southwest Memphis, Kevin McNamara, back to you. All right, Kevin, thank you. Well, the proposed supercomputer project still has to be approved by several agencies, including the Memphis Shelby County Economic Development Growth Engine, or EDGE, which met earlier today. Now, if built, the Greater Memphis Chamber claims the supercomputer would be the world's largest capital investment in Memphis history by a new company. Now, while leaders are excited, they caution that logistics are still being worked out and Musk's application will be vetted. I think we definitely need to work hard to negotiate as best deal as we can. It is the wealthiest person in the world, and we're, we're one of the communities with the least wealth in the world. And so we definitely want to see what we can do and be hopeful that we can, uh, you know, get a good deal. Now, while Elon Musk's supercomputer project wasn't on today's agenda, Edge's vice president expects any incentive items will be voted on by year's end.